Hey guys, Donna McGuinn here. I wanted to do a tutorial video on how to transfer from a development site to the live site itself. And this is really easy with the help of one plugin. So you're going to go over to the plugins on the development site that you've been working on and everything is good to go. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to add a new plugin. From there, you're going to go ahead and type in all-in-one WordPress migration. You're going to see this plugin pop up right here, all-in-one WordPress, and it's by ServeMask. And you're going to go ahead and install it and activate that plugin. From there, you're going to go ahead and also do the same thing where your live site is going to go. And this is going to be so that they can communicate between each other. Um, in the, while you're doing your transfer process. So once you're done with that, and I've already got mine activated, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to export underneath of the all-in-one WordPress migration settings. From here, you're going to export your site. We're going to click on this, find and replace, and we're going to drop that down. This is so that you can search. It's going to search for the old domain name that you used for your temporary site and it's going to replace it with the new domain name. So, for example, this is my temporary site. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste it. And then this is my new site. Pretend that this is your domain names. So this is the temporary site that we've been building on and this is the live domain that everyone's going to see. Uh, this is just, I'm just using two development sites so that you guys can understand. Um, from there, we're going to click on the export and we're going to click file. Okay. Now that we have everything all in one single file from this plugin, we have a couple of options. We can either click on this to download that file or we can purchase an extension from servemass.com and what they have is they have a way to do um, an export via URL. So there is a way right here, the URL extension. I have definitely, I purchased this because it is a lifesaver. Instead of having to wait for it to download onto your computer and then upload to the to the new site, everything just everything just goes to the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the download function just because I know that's what everybody probably will have to do. So once we click this green, it's going to start downloading this file. So this is pretty much done. So we're going to go to ahead to our state, our, our live server, our live site, which is where it's going to be. And we're going to go to the all-in-one menu and we're going to click import. Now from here, you are going to just drag and drop that file right here, or you can click import from and we just hit file. If you had purchased the, file, the URL extension, you're going to click on the URL and then you're going to paste in that URL that you got from here when you right clicked on this. And you hit copy link address. But we're going to go ahead and we are just going to import from a file. So we're going to click and drag this right there. And this is going to go ahead and begin the import process. So basically it's uploading it to the website and it's going to put it into a file on the live server. So I will see you guys when this is done uploading. Okay, now that we have successfully uploaded the file to the new server, we need to actually give it permission to overwrite all of the files that are currently on the server. And since this is a brand new install of WordPress, we should have nothing to worry about. So let's go ahead and hit continue. Now it's telling us we have some instructions. We need to save our permalinks twice, and then that's going to ensure that everything is the same way with the URLs. So when we click on this, it's going to ask us to log in. So let's go ahead and log in. Okay, so right now the 
the um, development server had the settings as the post name so I'm just going to go ahead and save that and we're going to save it one more time all right let's go and view the front end of our live website and as you can see everything has migrated over successfully you cannot tell the difference between two site, the two sites except for the domain name everything is the same there's nothing different that's uh, what I call a successful a successful transfer between two sites this plugin makes it very easy I highly recommend it and as you can see that probably only took about 20 minutes altogether um, you guys are able to purchase any of these extensions uh, the unlimited ones is great for any website over 500 megabytes the URL extension so you do not have to download it and these just give you the option so you can upload them to a, um, a cloud service or anything like that they've got multi-site uh, compatibility FTP so you can always just FTP straight from the server and other additional cloud servers that you're able to import from uh, let's see that is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed watching I hope you guys have more confidence when switching your site from a subdomain or uh, a development server to your live server have a great day